Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Man, it has been a minute or two since I've done one of these. Um, we are gonna be working on some more exhaust parts. These are gonna be actually for my brother-in-law's car. Uh, he's got a little turbo SRT4 that's just absolutely ridiculous. So let me get the camera spun around. I can show you the exhaust parts that we're working on. We'll go from there. All right, so here you go. You know, we got his downpipe and then of course the header. So we're gonna get we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this stuff stripped off here. You know, it's just held on and we're going to trash it because he doesn't want it. Um, then we'll get this taken off so that we can get this all sandblasted and cleaned up. I went ahead and I got me one of these. So we'll, we'll see how well this goes. This is a Harbor Freight uh, paint shaker. So I'm going to use this to shake up the Cerakote um, instead of me having to hand shake it for five to ten minutes like it says. And hopefully this will give me, um, you know, a little bit better um agitation in the material so what my my plans are with that paint shaker is to attempt to allow it to um shake the ceramic coating that's been sitting in the refrigerator um uh, not in my home refrigerator it's the one in the garage but um anyways um so that it'll allow it to uh shake up the paint uh because it's probably separated because it's been sitting for a while so what that's going to do is allow it to shake and hopefully get all those materials um combined again so that it'll allow it to you know be able to be a good product to use so so far we've had really good luck with the ceramic coating and the um, Cerakote that we get um, you know we get that from Cerakote.com um, check those guys out they've got a lot of a lot of colors over there uh, my personal favorite is the H series um, unfortunately my oven isn't large enough to do some of these big parts however all these parts are going to be exhaust parts um, so this we are using just the air dry high temp which is like 1800 degrees so uh, they do make that in an air cure or in a oven cure but again I've got a small oven so um, some of these parts wouldn't fit in it so we just got the air cure stuff but uh, so far we've had pretty good luck with it um, there was a video that I did for uh, another turbo car it was a Mustang up in South Dakota um, and they've got a video online I'll see if I can link it here somewhere I got to try to figure out how to do that um, and that way you can see them putting everything together and, and them talking about the uh, about the coating so guys let's go ahead and get started on these parts all right guys so here's what we've got we've got the Cerakote we're just doing the uh, graphite black. This is the air cure stuff, uh, and we've got it in a pretty good size um, container here. So we're going to go ahead and get that uh, shaken up. We're going to shake it up, and then we're going to get it put in the gun. We're going to spray it. Here is one of the parts. This is what it looked like after we we blasted it. So it's all nice and you know cleaned up. The other one, we got some wheels. We got to get done right here. The other one. I just outgassed to make sure you know we didn't have any oils or anything left on it but that's the other part we're gonna get that one uh, wiped down with some acetone uh, and then then we're gonna get spraying so I'll get the camera set up in a good spot to hopefully catch it so you guys can see me spraying just using a cheap um, like a 20 or 30 dollar gun from Harbor Freight and this is what it looks like you know, nothing, nothing exciting, nothing over the top, but yeah, just an HVLP gun. So if you guys are thinking about doing ceramic coating or doing Cerakote at the house, um, whether for exhaust or gun parts or knives or whatever you think you might be doing, um, great little gun. So check it out. We'll get the camera set up so you can see us spraying. wrong cap. I do that every time.
One down. One to go. As you can see this one is still a, a little wet but yeah that ceramic coating or that sear coat lays down real smooth you know once you get your gun dialed in sorry guys that may be hard to see I'll come over to this one here and this one's been drying for I don't know 15 minutes maybe you can see it leaves a kind of a, more of a matte finish but it turns out real nice and smooth, real clean. Spray inside, you know, all the openings and everything like that. So, but yeah, looks real good. Now this obviously is still shiny because it's still wet. This is the uh, air cure. So this will take 45 minutes to an hour. Man, those birds are loud. 45 minutes to an hour um, before it's tack free. Um, and then it air cures for 24 hours. It'll be partially cured then, uh, and then it's fully cured after about five days. So um, from what my understanding is and what I've read and watched, that uh, you can install these in that 24 hour mark, um, and, then it's, and then it's good to go. So, but uh, guys, make sure that you wear a respirator. You know, I've got one like this this is a 3m one um you can get them at home depot i don't know like 30 bucks i can't remember how much they were uh, i've actually got two of them but uh but yeah great little air spray gun through uh, harbor freight has worked great for me uh, i've got two of them because one of them i broke but again with it being a, a 30 dollar gun what do you expect so all right so we're gonna we're gonna let these uh tack up for a little bit and then I'm gonna move them out back to the storage shed uh, just to let them dry. Uh, I've already sent pictures to my brother-in-law because it's for his neon. And uh, well, he probably would get upset if I said neon. It's a little bit more than, the, it's a it's a neon shell. How about that? But uh, SRT4, it's a pretty nasty machine. Um, I'm sure he's got, uh, I know he's got videos out there of him uh, out at the track racing and stuff like that. So I'll see if I can find a link to one of those videos and possibly throw it in here. Um, but uh, if not, Anyways, there'll be pictures on our Instagram page. I'll link that here somehow. And uh, I'm still learning this whole process, so give me a break if I can't uh, if I can't quite figure it all out. But anyways, guys, um, if I haven't said it already, please like and subscribe. We're going to let these uh, just kind of cure for a little bit longer, and we'll come back, and I'll kind of show you all what it looks like when they're, uh, when they're about ready and they're tack-free. All right, and here you have it. It's been sitting here for about 35 to 40 minutes now and you can see that finish has changed to more of that semi gloss satin style finish and man it's hard to see in here but but yeah sprayed inside all the you can't see I'm sorry guys but yeah sprayed inside and basically all the ports to make sure you know we got a good nice coverage but yeah these things turned out fantastic See, this one's been drying a little longer but man what a difference all right guys that's the project we've got done for today uh, we're gonna move them out to the storage shed and let them finish curing um, before my brother-in-law comes and picks them up again please like and subscribe really appreciate y'all guys we're up to like 265 
um, subscribers. Um, really want to get to that 10,000 mark because that's where YouTube kind of shows that um, you know this this channel is here and uh, and people like our content. Make sure that you give that thumbs up on there. What that does is also lets YouTube know that hey, you know we kind of like these videos. This is kind of the stuff we like to see. And what that does is it puts it in their little algorithm or whatever it is and allows us to continue doing these kind of things that we're doing. Uh, again, if you have any comments, please put them down there. Uh, if there's something that you see that I can do better, please let me know. Always looking to improve on my stuff uh, and always wanting to get better. Uh, striving for perfection. Uh, although none of us are perfect, but we always strive for, perfect, for perfection. And, you know, I expect that for me and I expect the same for you guys. So... Again, please like and subscribe. Uh, put a comment below. Click on the little bell as well, just to let you know that uh, you know when we got a new video out. Again, guys, appreciate y'all watching. Come back and see us.